mi piace pescare. Mi piace, mi piace pescare. pescare. Mi piace pescare. <laughs> Guys, that's Italian for I, I like fishing. fishing. <laughs> and I know we butchered that for sure, so I'm really sorry. If anyone speaks Italian, just let us know how that sounds. We just need help with the accents. We took Latin all the way in high school, all the way through college, and did like grad level Latin, but Latin is like, it doesn't teach Latin's you. Latin's very. Latin's a dead language. It's well, it's a very it's raw a reading, language. It's a too. reading and writing language. It doesn't sound pretty. It's very like choppy, and you enunciate every letter and word. Today's recipe is mutton parmesan. Mutton parmesan, guys. So chicken parmesan? No. Mutton, mutton parmesan. parmesan. Yes. What's up, guys? My name is Amanda. My name is Emily. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. <laughs> We are super excited about this recipe because it's a homemade recipe. We are doing a homemade tomato sauce to go with our mutton parmesan. It's gonna have mozzarella and parmesan cheese and Italian spices. And I'm just very excited because if you be like delicious. chicken parm, you're gonna like mutton parm. And I think mutton is a great fish for this because it's a snapper filet, but it's a thicker snapper filet. And this dish would be good probably for I feel like I'm so excited. <laughs> you need to relax. <laughs> this dish is probably good for any really like nice thick filet. That's there you go. probably what I would say. So let's get to cooking. Before we get started on our homemade tomato sauce, we are going to marinate our fish in eggs, scrambled, parsley, chopped, garlic, minced, salt and pepper to taste, and of course, onion powder. Time to add our chopped parsley, we're gonna add our minced garlic, onion powder, add some salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna mix this together. I'm gonna put the fish in a bag, both nice big mutton fillets. And we're gonna add our marinade to this bag. Ready, don't spill. Perfect, got it. Make sure all of our snapper is coated, just like that. We're gonna go ahead, put this in the fridge, and focus on our sauce. Don't forget, now's a really good time. Set your oven, 425, don't forget. For our sauce, we are going to use tomato puree. We are going to add onion, make sure it's diced. We are gonna add garlic, minced. We are gonna do salt and pepper, and we are going to do Italian herbs in this one. I'm gonna start with adding my olive oil. I'm just gonna coat the bottom of the pan. Onions going in. A little hot, turn it down a, a touch. My onions are cooking and simmering, and I'm going to throw my garlic in with it. It smells amazing, Amanda. The kitchen smells like Garlic and onions, obviously. I don't know what else it would smell like. <laughs> grilled, grilled or like cooked grilled. onions smells so good. Going in the pan, tomato puree. This is for our sauce for our mutton parmesan. You can also buy a tomato sauce if you want, but we really wanted to make our own, and I just think that it's it's more fresh, it's more fun. We used to make chili a lot and we always made our own sauces. And if you want, you can buy tomato sauce. You don't have to make your own, but I think it's much more rewarding when you make it yourself. I think it's much more rewarding. I also like to think it's healthier. These are just McCormick Italian herbs. Makes it easy, ready to go. We're gonna mix that in there and we're gonna add salt and pepper. Now we are going to let our sauce simmer for eight minutes and really let all the flavors grow and open up. And while our, our sauce simmers, we're gonna switch back, we're gonna grab our fish that's been marinating in the fridge, 
we're gonna start breading that and focus on the fish. It's time for our fish. We are going to take our marinated mutton snapper and we are going to bread it in Italian breadcrumbs, which are pre-seasoned along with fresh grated Parmesan cheese and of course, some garlic. Taking my nice fish fillets, my mutton snapper fish fillets. Let's check this out. Go ahead. We're gonna get this all coated in our breadcrumb mixture. That looks so delicious. It looks absolutely delicious. So Amanda, yes. while you do that, yes. let's tell our twin truth for the video. Our twin truth, okay. Yeah. Um, what is it? So we had a comment that someone wanted to know and we're gonna answer the question. Okay, what is the, the question? The question was, what no, the question was, do we have the same taste in music? Do we have this? Okay, well, what do you think? I think we definitely do. I think that, yeah, we do. Yeah, okay. definitely. Okay, so my favorite music is country music, and so is Emily's. And it's pretty much our 9 of the time, go to the type of music we listen to, for sure. What about you? I feel like I, feel like I like everything. Except yeah. rap. Same. Not really into rap music. Me either. Everything except rap music, and we both listen to a lot of country music. We definitely have like different like favorite songs and maybe like favorite artists, but we both are like we listen to country music 9 half of the time. Especially on the boat when you're fishing. I don't know what better genre you would want to listen to while you're fishing than country music. I would agree Seems with that. Seems to be the best option. All right, guys, check out these fillets. Look at how delicious that looks. And the seasoning, the Italian seasoning, it, it smells, smells so, so good. good. And we are gonna start with frying these really quickly and then going in the oven. I have olive oil in my pan right here on medium heat. And I'm gonna take my mutton filet and start doing a quick fry in the oil, just like that. And the purpose to this is to really make our fish nice and crispy. We're just gonna do this really quick. We're gonna make it nice and crispy and then we're gonna finish baking in the oven. But we just wanna get that like, get that those breadcrumbs crispy. So that's why we start with doing it in the pan. Guys, listen to that sizzle. This is gonna be so nice. Ready to flip it, Amanda? Almost time to flip it. I'm gonna get Almost one time. more minute. Let that really get crispy. Then we're gonna flip it and throw it in our pan before putting it in the oven. Time to flip. Hope I don't break it. One, two, three. There. Oh my goodness. There we go. That looks really it good. Looks nice and crispy. That's what we want. We want that nice little brown crispiness. Just like that. That was two minutes. Medium, medium high heat for this one. Time to make our move. The double spatula. To the pan. This is a <laughs> pre, I oil this with canola oil ahead of time. Just a little bit of Pam cooking spray. Pre-spray your pan. Put your fish in your pan. And now I'm gonna do the second fish and then we are going to make this all pretty and finish up the dish. I'm taking my tomato sauce, that I homemade tomato sauce, I'm going to pour it over the top of my delicious mutton snapper, just like this. I'm just gonna take some scoops of it and coat my fish, my crispy fish. That's why you like to bake it or fry it ahead of time because it makes it nice and crispy, gives a little bit of crunch, which helps because the oven will finish baking it. It's almost like searing a steak, but we're not searing a steak. We're just gonna fry our fish and go from there. That looks delicious. Really smothering the sauce on there. Just like that. Getting it nice and coated. We are going to add mozzarella on top. So I took on my mozzarella and I intentionally tried to cut it in the shape of the fish fillet. I think I did a pretty good job. But if you had it in tiny pieces too, that'd be fine. You could just do a couple of them. Which I'm gonna do that as well. I got a nice big piece. I'm gonna break this up. We're gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on there. I don't know how this recipe could taste bad. This is amazing. This is gonna be so good. Just sprinkle some cheese. Going into the oven, well I guess I don't need these. 
we're just going into the oven. We're not coming out. <laughs> going into the oven. Check it out. Mutton snapper parm. Just like that. And we let it bake. Ready to pull it out of the oven with our. This is actually the green part. <laughs> That's a fish, green fishing braid from when we were spooling up our tanaka <laughs> in the house. Let's take this out. All right, guys, a key to know that it's done is when the cheese starts bubbling. See that cheese bubbling? See the cheese bubbling? It's a good way to know. Pull this out. Another way to know that your fish is done is obviously you can't see that it's white and flaky because of the sauce and the cheese around it. You can stick a thermometer in there. 145 is technically done. Kind of think of it like steak or pork around those lines. Not chicken. Chicken will overcook it. 145 degrees, your fish should be good to go. We are going to cut into our mutton snapper. Come check it out. Check it out. Let's make our cut. Look at that cheese. The cheese is all gooey. It looks so good. Get all the pieces on there. Oh, it's flaking apart so easily. Look at See that. that bite. Oh my goodness. Look that at that. Totally delicious. cooked. Totally done. Look at that. that Stringing the Amanda. cheeses. Oop, we're losing the fish. Oh no. It's falling apart. It's so delicate. There's the fish. There we go. That looks so delicious. delicious. So flaky and delicate. Let's give it a taste. This looks Whoa, so it's so steaming. So cheesy, it's so cheesy, guys. Okay, wait. I'm just trying to let the steam come out so that I don't burn my mouth on this. Can you got it? I am working on it. Oh, let cheese. cheese. <laughs> Take your cheese there. Holy cow. Hot. This is gonna be super hot. Okay, cheers. 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 Okay. So good. So delicious. Mm. So cheesy. Wow. So flaky. Wow. Like, wow. New favorite fish recipe. I probably said that a lot of times, but this time? No. This Got recipe? It. Top three. The crispiness of the bread coating on the fish, and then the gooeyness of the cheese, and then the sauce, the moisture of the sauce. Wow, so good guys. If you try this recipe, let us know. Please. Leave it in the comments, please. We hope you like it as much as we do. I'm a huge, huge fan of this one. Wow. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Facebook Instagram, and YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> like and subscribe for more, guys.